get a move on, Ollie boy! Slow down, Mr. Drippy. But Ding Dong Dell's just on the way! Huh? Huh? Oh. Huh? What do we do? Run for it! Ah! Let's get going, shall we? Huh? Hey, wait for me! <sighs> so this is... your world. That's right. A whole nother world. Beautiful, innit? Why, good morning, Oliver. Your groceries are over there, honey. Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. Did Philip find you? He said he had something to show you, dear. Really? So he finally finished it, huh? Do you know where he is right now? He just stepped out with some deliveries for me. I doubt he'll have gotten far. Thanks, Miss Layla. Oh, say hi to your mother for me. Sure thing. Good thing you found me. Guess what? She's finally ready. So what Miss Layla said? Is it really what I think it is? What else would it be, dum-dum? Boy, you are something else, Phil. So what do we do now? What else? We take her for a spin. Tonight. What? Tonight? But I can't. I mean, I need to ask my mom, and... Sure, sure. You go ask your ma. And then when do we do it, huh? Tomorrow? Next year? Well, I... no, but... Okay, we'll do it tonight, but we'll have to be real quiet. Sure we will. Okay, tonight in my garage. Be there, or be square. Sure. So, this is the child who will save the world. Or oh, so says the crystal ball, your radiance. Hmm. The Dark Jin's power alone will not suffice. I fear not. What is the child's name? Oliver, your radiance. Oliver?
Hey, Mom. I got the groceries. Thanks, sweetie. Just pop them on the table, will you? Say, Mom. Hmm? Did you say something, sweetie? Um, you're kind of busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I suppose I will. Oh, you will, huh? <laughs> will you stop being so mysterious and eat your breakfast? You'll be late for school. Mm. And chew before you swallow. Mm. Thanks for breakfast, Mom. See you later, Mom. Bye, sweetie. You be good now. I will. What are you looking at? <gasps> what is it with that kid? What kept you, Slowpoke? Sorry, my mom just wouldn't go to bed. So, is it finished? Sure is. The last bearing's in, and she's primed for action. Wanna see? Do I ever? All right. Here goes nothing. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, is this neat, Phil? Oh, this is so, so neat. You betcha! It's so neat! <laughs> the new Coupe Deluxe ain't got nothing on us, Ollie. It's not even close! So, you ready to hit the road, kiddo? Yeah! <laughs> The coast is clear. I better go tell Phil. Don't go. What? Huh? It's bad. Please, Oliver. Don't go. Huh? H who are you? How do you know my name? Ollie! What's taking you so long? I'm sorry, Phil. Someone saw me. Oh, man. Who was it? Oh, uh... That girl over... Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? There's nobody there. Huh. That's weird. She was right there. A girl. A girl, huh? Mm-hmm. I bet it was that dumb, scary Mary. Oh no. Couldn't be. She's not allowed out. You must be going screwy or something. Anyway, come on. Oh, oh, okay. Oliver, the boy who will save the world. But unfortunately for him, his light is yet a mere candle in the blackness. Indeed. He may be the child the prophecies speak of, but he is a child nonetheless. Yet these humans can be disturbingly powerful. Did the other's darkness not engulf the land entirely? Might this one not prove equally... What would you have me do, Your Radiance? Such saplings must not be suffered to grow. Very well, Your Radiance. He who would save this doomed world must die. Sweetie? Where are you? Oliver? Oliver? Um, 
You're kind of busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? <gasps> Oliver! Oliver! I'm sorry. I swear, if I'd known, I never would have. Don't be silly, Phil. What about your car? That hunk of junk? I can make another one in no time. Well, I think you two have had quite enough excitement for one day. Yes, ma'am. Ja! Are you okay, Phil? I have twisted my ankle back there. <laughs> Whatever will you children get up to next? Uh, huh? uh, Allie! Allie! Uh, Allie? Are you okay? Mom? Uh, what's wrong? Oh my. Mom? She always did have a weak heart. Mom! Oh dear. I'll fix the doctor. Mom! Oliver, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. Mom! You'll be okay. I know you will. Be good now. For me. Mom? Mom? Mom! No. No! Don't leave me. You can't. Sentimental fool. Sacrificing herself to save her child. And yet, thanks to her, the boy lives. Of course. But shorn of his mother's love, to whom can he now turn for guidance? And soon he will come to our world, where our powers are strongest. Very good, your radiance. To see how this story unfolds. I'm sure the ending will be engaging. Oliver, honey, I brought you some apple pie. I'll just leave it here for you, okay, dearie?
Now, now, you'll just have to wait until dinner, Timmy mm. told him. Oh, it's so sad. He's been in there three whole days now. Oliver, Mummy starts her new job today, but she's asked someone very special to take care of you. Mummy spent a long time making him. I'm sure he'll look after you very well. <laughs> Be good while Mummy's away, okay? Mommy! Is something wrong, sweetie? Hmm? Just come back soon, okay? Of course, sweetie. We'll always be together, Oliver. Always. Always. <sighs> Mommy. Come back. Please. happened you just witnessed the rebirth of drippy lord high uh lord of the fairies um who what are you deaf or something drippy lord high lord of the fairies i said didn't i drippy that's right and i'm sick of the teeth of you are sniveling and mourning a proper crybaby bunt in you are three days man i mean i've been sad before but crying for three old days i'm surprised there's a drop of water left in you you're a big boy man three days is well it's unheard of what? I... uh... Oh dear, a bit flummoxed, a wee bit lost for words. Not to worry, man, I got all the answers. Oh, but uh, prepare yourself. Explaining all this is going to take a while. Ready? Uh-huh. Tidy. I like your style. Very honest, anyway. Stay that way, okay? Take you far, I will. On with the show! Oh, uh, okay. See, it's like this, see? What it is, is there's more worlds out there than this one by you. There's what you might call parallel worlds, see? They're like worlds along by the side of you are one. And one of those worlds is my world. That's right, a whole nother world. Another world? That's quick you are. And I, that is the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, the reason I'm by her in this world of you is, well, it's because there's a proper bad apple trying to upset the peace of both our worlds, see? Shada, the Dark Jinn, his name is, and what he did was he took over people's hearts and spread war and ruin all over our world. Tried to stand up to him, I did, and he turned me into a flipping doll and kicked me out of our world and into you as the rotter. Uh-huh. And then you went and cried all over me and poof, the curse was lifted, just like that. Which makes me think you must be the one we fairies call the pure-hearted one. The one the legends say will save our world. Just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover, eh? So, anyway, that means I'd better get you over to our world and have you get rid of Shadar for us. All right with you? Me? But how can I...? Don't fret, man. It's a big responsibility, I know, but you'll be all right. Especially with me to help you. But I... Oh, want me to ask properly, do you, fair dues? What? Oh, pure-hearted one, will you please come and save our world? I... um... no. Sorry, I must have misheard you. What did you say? Go on once more, but louder. I won't do it. I... I mean... I can't do it. This is why they say never work with children. I ask nicely and you give me a hearty yes, sir. That's how this works, see? Gee whiz, that would be swell, you say. It's just how these things are done. It's tradition. How am I supposed to work with this? It's like he's never read a story in his life. But I don't know anything about your world. And I just can't right now. What, because you were mom dropped dead? Uh, yeah. You got a photo of her? Uh... Hurry up, will you? I haven't got all day. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see now. Blimey. It can't be. But then it can't be a coincidence, neither. What is it? The great sage Alicia. 
then we might just be able to save you, ma'am. Huh? What are you talking about? You ready for another year full? Yeah. The souls of people in your world and my world are connected, which means people from over by you have another version of themselves over by there, called a soulmate, see? And people with soulmates can even look like each other. Now, you and ma'am, well, she shared a soul with the great sage Alicia. A proper talent she was. Huh? So my mom was a sage? But how does that help us save her? Well, Alicia tried to take on the Dark Djinn, but his power was too much for her, and he trapped her in this dark jewel called the Soul Snare. When that happened, then the link between hers and you and Mam's souls would have been cut off. But if you could free Alicia, it just might fix the link, and who knows, it might even bring your Mam back. Is that really true? I can't be sure now, but it's possible, yeah. Wait. How do you know all this, Mr. Dribby? You've been a doll this whole time. Ah, now there's clever of you. Good question, lad. It's like this, see? I'm not the only fairy. Even though I was stuck by you, my buddies were keeping me abreast of all the goings-on over there. How? I suppose it's what you might call telepathy. And that's not all. I was sending my lordly orders back over there, too. Having them spy on Shaddaa and that, you know, tidy, huh? Hmm? What is it? Oh. I'll... I'll do it. I'll come to your world. I'll come with you and save my mom. Oh, that's marvellous! You might be doing it for all the wrong reasons, but if it saves our world, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Tidy! We better get going then. Chop, chop! Okay. But how do we get to your world? Oh, curious, are we? All right, I'll tell you. First thing we need is a drop of magic. Go and have a dig around in the fireplace. There's something hidden there so nosy parkers won't find it. But why would anybody hide something in there? That's for me to know and you to find out. Look lively. What could be hidden in a place like this? A mighty spell book. Huh? A book? But it would burn in there. Not this book. The wizard's companion laughs in the face of fire. Wouldn't be much of a spell book if it didn't now, would it? Really? Aha! Gotcha! This is a spell book? That there is the wizard's companion, the fount of all wizarding knowledge. The wizard's companion. Tidy. Right, magic in our way over to my world, is it? Hmm, now let's see. What is it? You got a wand somewhere by here? We can't go casting spells without a wand now, can we? A wand? Why would we have a wand? Oh, that's a pain. Ah, well, can't be helped. We just have to look for one outside. Huh? We won't find one out there either. Don't nitpick, crybaby bunting. Bunting? My name is Oliver. Oliver. Ah, so the crybaby bit was right, at least, was it? Ah. Uh, you're, you're the little girl I met before, huh? Mm-hmm. We met before. So, how do you know who I am? I'm really, really sorry, Oliver. Huh? Your mummy. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. Huh? I don't... Why would you be sorry for that? I wanted to save her. I really did. Huh? Hey, wait. Where are you... going? Hey, where did you go? Ollie boy, why are you talking to thin air? Mr. Drippy, she disappeared again. Huh? Who did? That strange girl. That's the second time she tried to talk to me. What's that? A girl? Where? You're right about strange. I can't see her any flipping where. Well, how could you? She disappeared into thin air. Well, anyway, there's something I want to ask you. There is? Uh, sure, go ahead. Do you mind it, you know, having a sidekick like? Huh? A sidekick? Who do you mean? Crikey, that's cold. Who do you mean, he says? Why not stab me in the heart while you're at it? I mean me! I wanted to know if it was all right me joining you on your adventures. Or if you were maybe wanting to trade me in for a younger, prettier model. But it looks like I got my answer, eh? Well, so you know, if you don't have faith in people, you'll never see their true worth. And what's more? Look at this. Huh? It was on the ground, right where that girl was standing. Chuck it here, then. Ta. 
Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's a wand. You mean it? A real wand? Come over by here and take a look, man. It might seem like any old stick, but it's got all magic writing on it, see? It does, huh? Wow. Is that how people write in your world? The runes are all faded, so it might have lost a bit of power. But, for our current purposes, it's a beauty. Neato! What a stroke of luck. Luckier than you know, Ollie boy. Dude, I never thought we'd actually find one. Do you think maybe that girl brought it here for me? Do you really think we should be doing this here? No worries, man. Normal people can't see magic, see? Go on, Ollie boy. Cast Gateway. Um... That's it, man! You got it! Shunting, crybaby bunting! For the last time, it's Oliver! Hey, it's not bad work for a crybaby, this. Oh. Shall we? Huh? Hey, wait for me! <sighs> so this is... your world. Ah, home at last! But there's a tidy way to go yet. Hey, Mr. Drippy, that was pretty neat just now, huh? Oh, that herd of elk! Enjoy your first encounter with the majestic wildlife of our mysterious world, did you? Uh-huh. Jeepers. Oh, Nickers! Where did he spring from? Uh, uh, what do we do? He's not like the big softies just now. He's itching for a fight. Proper savage. Let's run away. No, use that stick you got by there. Give him a whacking and send him packing. Uh, 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 uh. Look, Lively, he's making his move. Let's go! Well, hey! Proper tidy! Nice one, Ollie Boy! Jeepers, creepers! Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Our world is absolutely riddled with beasties. But keep that up, and you'll have nothing to worry about. Right, let's get a move on, shall we? Sure, Mr. Drippy, but where are we going? Well, first off, we need to get you a wand. But I already have a wand. <laughs> You're having a laugh, aren't you? That thing's about as magical as a flipping cabbage. You might just squeeze a gateway spell out of it, but you can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, I wish you'd think before you open your mouth. Oh, uh, sorry. Now, I told you Ding Dong Dell was just over by yonder, didn't I? Well, if we're very lucky, we might find a wand with a bit more oomph down by there. So, are wands really so hard to find here? Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things. But since Shadar showed up, magic's taken a real nosedive. He banned people from using it, see? Cursed anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much, they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary, huh? Well, he turned me into a flipping doll, didn't he? Just saying his name's enough to make most folks prick it. Still, I'd rather be a doll than have him go poking round in my heart. No one wants to be broken-hearted. Broken-hearted? 
Like... sad? Worse than that. Much worse. It's when he steals a piece of a person's heart. Poor beggars don't know whether they're alive or dead. That's no way to live, man. So that's why they're all so scared of him, huh? We can't let him go on doing this. Well, it's not a matter of letting him, is it? It's not like people flipping enjoy it. That's why I brought you here, innit? You might just be able to stop him, see? You really think I can? Of course you can! You are the pure-hearted one! And the legends say that the pure-hearted one will drive away the darkness! We'll teach you a few tasty spells and you'll be ready to face him in no time! Sound good to you? Okay, I'll do it. I'll learn magic. Of course you will! And that's why we need to find you a better wand! All right. Let's head for Ding Dong Dell. Tidy! Uh, uh, <sighs> Looks to me like a classic case of broken-heartedness. Broken-heartedness? You mean that thing you were talking about before? That's right. The broken-hearted are people who've had part of their hearts stolen. Poor souls just uh, aren't themselves. Go all weird and useless, uh, they do. So his heart was broken uh, by... Keep up, will you? Shadar, innit? If anyone tries to stand up to him or does anything he doesn't like, he breaks their hearts into pieces so they can't put up a fight. Jeepers. But if he stays that way, we can't get into Ding Dong Dell. Bum, 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 bum. Mr. Drippy! Ah, nah. Wait for me! Ugh. Ugh. Who goes there? <gasps> Jeepers. Ollie boy, meet old Father Oak. How do you, a leafiness? Oh, Drippy, it's you. And to what do I owe the pleasure? Well, I got a visitor by her from another world, see? And what it is, is, I was wondering if you might lend us a bit of a hand, like. Oh, I should have known. You only ever come to see me when you are in need. Sorry, you are tall ship. You know I'm always very grateful. Hmm. This boy. Ah, spotted it, did you, you bark ship? Well, well. The pure-hearted one. He who will drive out the darkness. And Rippy, you mean to... That's right, your ancient ship. We're off to give Shadar a right royal hiding. You? Why? <laughs> as reckless as ever, I see. Very well. You shall have my aid. But first... We had better give the boy a familiar, had we not? Oh, yeah! Clean forgot I did. He's right, Dolly boy. It might be a bit early, but I suppose we better teach you how to conjure up familiars, innit? Familiars? Yeah, familiars. You're in our world, you can magic up little fighting creatures from your heart, see? They're called familiars. Where we're going, the beasties are only gonna get bigger and meaner. So, you're gonna need a helping hand, or claw, or beak. Or tentacle. Can I really do it? Well, there's only one way to find out. You want to help your mom, don't you? Uh, sure I do. Well then, grab your wizard's companion and turn to the page marked Form Familiar. Uh, what's this? That's tidy work, Ollie boy. Look at that. A warrior from your very own heart. A familiar. This is a familiar? That's right. The fighting spirit inside you made flesh. A soldier of your soul. Can really help me fight? Ooh. 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 Huh? Ouch! That was a mean trick. And the stronger you get, the harder he's gonna hit as well. <laughs> wow. Oh. Uh-oh. Huh? Spoil him for a fight, is it? Better give him what he wants, Solly boy. Huh? But what do I do? Just think what you want him to do and he'll do it. It's as easy as falling off a log, man. Okay. Just think what I want him to do. Here goes. 
You did well to calm the Guardian of the Woods. And I found what I was looking for. But first, a gift. By way of thanks. Gee. You are on a roll, by your man! I entrust to you one of my closest companions, the Telling Stone. His knowledge of our world rivals even my own. I thought he might help you on your journey. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, he will tell you anything you wish to know. And the other thing, the locket. This is what you came here for, is it not? It is a vessel for fragments of the human heart. To rescue the heartbroken, you will need the locket and the spells required to use it. I will give you those as well. Thank you so much, Old Father Oak. Hmm. Such a well-mannered child. Unlike some, I could mention. What? I, uh, all right, all right. Ta back, face! Hmm. Some things are as unchanging as the forest. No matter. You had best be on your way. Now, boy. You must come and see me from time to time. And tell me of your travels. I look forward to hearing of your progress. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Let's be off, shall we? Time to head back to Ding Dong Dell and mend a broken heart. Okay. Looks like he's still the worse for wear, huh? Mr. Drippy, we have to help him. Right, though, Ollie boy, I'd better explain how it's done then, innit? First thing you'll need to do is to take the locket Treeface gave you and fill it with the piece of heart our friend is missing. Uh, the piece of heart? That's right. One of the bits we're all made up of deep down. The bits we're made up of? I don't understand. Mm, how can I put it? I'll just give it a go. You'll soon work it out, man. First off, what that guard's missing is a uh, drop of good old-fashioned enthusiasm. Uh, Find some and give it to him, and he'll mm. be right as rain. Okay, but where do I find enthusiasm? Well, now, feast your eyes on that other guard by there. And, uh, ha! He's got more get-up-and-go than a sack of squirrels. If he hasn't got some enthusiasm to spare, I'm a monkey's uncle. Ask nicely, and I'm sure he'll give you a lend of it. Sure, I'll try my best.
Tidy. Looks like you've got yourself a locket full of enthusiasm. Now, you've just got to give it to our friend over by there. Okay, here goes. Beautiful! It worked! Neato! Uh, Tidy, looks like uh, he's back in the land of the living. What's happening? Where am I? Well, 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 you're back with us, I see. Yes, I, I feel so strange, as if a weight has been lifted from my heart. I feel better. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I was worried about you. I'm sorry, I wasn't myself. But I'm back now, and ready to work harder than ever. Well then, these fine people have all come to visit our great kingdom. I think we'd better let them in. Indeed we had. <laughs> this way, everybody. Turned out nice again, didn't it, Chuck? Jeepers. It's so... different. Stop staring, man. It's rude. But look at those goofy clothes. Goofy? Are you blind? You are the goofy one round these parts. Huh? Ah, look at his funny clothes. Huh? Oh, 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 really oh, look so strange. Oh, strange. Oh, Crikey! We better get you a new outfit before they put you in the zoo. Come on, Ollie boy. Oh, okay. Oliver? Oliver? Huh? Mom? Mom! You've done so well to make it this far, Oliver. Mom? Is this... a dream? You must listen to me now, Oliver. You have to go to him. To face him. And when you do, you'll learn the truth. Promise me, no matter how hard it is. Him? Mom, who's him? Mom, what do you mean? He's someone very... important to both of us. But who is he? And where do I have to go? It's all right, sweetie. You're already on your way. Don't give up, Oliver. No matter how hard it gets. What do you think? Huh? Oh, that's trendy! You look proper sharp, Ollie boy! <sighs> A pleasure to meet you, you and me, Augusty. So it was you who delivered one's treasure back to one, hmm? That's right. I yes, you and me, Augusty. Hmm. And you wish for a prize, hmm? Um... Go on, man. Ask him. Uh... Come now, don't be shy. Well, your meow just uh... Out with it now! We need your wand! <sighs> One's wand. Mom. Huh? What did you say? <gasps> Crikey! Huh? Smell. Could it be? That's right, you of Yaldristy. He's not from our world. He's the one whose power freed me from my prison. What? You mean he broke his spell? This little boy? Yes. Do you understand what you're saying, Fairy? Once you defy him, there's no turning back. I know, I know, I know, but... But what precisely? Well, you know, he might be able to... Mm. Mm. Ah. It's not one's concern. Ah. You may not have the wand. Now be gone. Does that mean no wand, Mr. Droopy? Looks like it.
So how do we get the wand now? Something wasn't quite right about our royal friend. Broken-hearted he is, or I'm broken-headed. The king is? Lacking enthusiasm, it looked like. And because he's broken-hearted, the whole kingdom's being dragged down with him. What are we waiting for? Let's go find the piece of heart he's missing. Blimey, you don't need much encouragement, do you? So, do you think it works? Let's see, shall we? Hmm, what the devil was one up to? Your meow, Justy, please tell us you're back to your old self. Yeah? Why, one is ten times more energetic than one has ever been. But one feels different somehow. This is your doing, is it not? Then you must be rewarded. Your Majesty, it seems that these brave adventurers have lifted the curse that was placed upon you. Uh, what? Is this true? Yes, Your Majesty. It appears that you were cursed with a lack of enthusiasm. Hmm, is that so? One certainly didn't feel oneself for a while there. It seems one is in your debt. Need a hand? It's you two. Look, one has retrieved one's wand. Huh? So he wasn't kidnapped. Oh, the crook struck one. Oh. <laughs> That'll teach you to turn your back on me, you old tomfool, you! <laughs> Is one huge rodent! You squeaklings work for the fat cat, do you? Uh, no, we we are too slow. Ah! Zodiacs are assembled, your radiance. I thank you all for attending. Very well. I hereby call the council to order. You are all doubtless aware of the purpose of this session. We are here to discuss the elimination of the pure-hearted one. Come before us, Dark Jin. You summoned me, White Witch. The so-called savior from the other world. He must be destroyed. Shadar, it is time that you proved yourself worthy of the title of Executor. On one condition. Ha! The insolence! He presumes to bargain with our queen? Go on. Very well. I must request that you entrust this task to me and me alone. Hear me, members of the Council. I have no need of your aid. He thinks himself our equal. What gives him the right? He is either very brave or... To presume to give us orders. Babbling fools. Silence! Very well. You will have your wish, Shadar. I entrust the task entirely to you. Teach those who speak of a savior. 
the futility of their hope. It shall be done. This Oliver, this savior, I will taint his heart with the blackness of despair. This is one's magic wand. When one was a kitten, one ran quite wild with the old thing. Here, it is yours now. Thank you very much, your Meow just the. If you know who finds out about this, one fears we shall both live to regret it. But one could hardly say no to one so very pure. When you say you know who, you mean Shadar, don't you? Eh? Uh, there's no need to say it out loud, is there? But yes, that is who one knows. Your Majesty, you've gone and given him the wand. Now there's no going back. One supposes so. Don't worry, Your Majesty. I'll bring down Shadar. You'll see. Here we are, Al Mamun. Beautiful. Mm hmm. It's different from Ding Dong Dell, huh? Well, of course it flipping is. It's slap bang in the middle of the desert for a start. Mmm. What's that delicious smell? That's the babanas, isn't it? Babanas are what Alma Moon's famous for, see? Never eaten a fruit like it. Gorgeous they are. Tell you what, I'm starving. Fancy a babana split? Really? They're that good, huh? Wow. Too flipping right they are. This place was built on the babana trade. There's tasty fruit. Okay, let's try some. Excuse me, are you Mr. Rashad? Yes, I am. Mr. Rashad, sir, I need you to teach me magic. I need you to teach me the most powerful spells there are, so I can defeat Shadar. Defeat Shadar? You? Yes, sir. Your journey has been wasted. I no longer practice the magic arts. Huh? But why not? I thought you were one of the four great sages who knows everything there is to know about magic. It matters not what I was. I use magic no more. Is she... What do you want? Who are you? Jeepers. The poor thing's broken-hearted, looks like. <sighs> Shudar stole a piece of her heart. It was my fault. I defied him, and to punish me, he did this. That is why I fight no longer. I cannot risk my child's life. I will not. We must accept our fate and live out our days in peace. Mr. Rashad, sir, you're wrong. She wouldn't want this. <clears throat> She's not in pain because a piece of her heart was stolen. It's because you gave up fighting. Because you gave up on everything. That's why she's in pain. Hmm. You are sure of this? Yes, I am. I see. I see now that you would say anything to enlist my aid. Huh? Be gone! Be You're making a mistake. I wasn't trying to... Well, he wasn't wrong. It looks like Shadar's stolen a part of the poor dab's heart. Then we have to help her. We have to make her heart whole again. Nah, looks like, I said. This is different. Huh? Her heart's not just broken, it's closed. Closed? What does that mean? It's like this, see? She's not just had a part of her heart stolen, she's closed it up tight too, to keep the rest safe like. So, before we can think about replacing what's missing, we'll have to open it back up again, innit? And how do we do that? We go to your world. If we find whoever she's connected to by there, we can work out what's going on with her by here. So we head over you away and find her soulmate. All right, let's do it. Right, though. Back to your world it is. Who are you? My name's Oliver. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm a kid from right here in Motorville. Just like you. 
I know. I've seen you. You have? I'm sick. I can't leave this room. If I go outside, it hurts. So all I can do is look out at the world from my window. That's why they call us Steady Mary. Shh! Don't worry, man. No one can hear me but you. I can talk as loud as I want! Yes. That's why they call me Steady Mary. Huh? Cranky! Can she hear me? That's what they call me around here. But you knew that already, huh? Uh, uh, I... I bet you think I'm weird, don't you? No, I, I don't. It's okay. I don't mind. You should go before my father comes home. Uh... Oi, come here a sec. This is proper weird. I've looked as hard as I know how, but she doesn't seem sick at all. She's as fit as a fiddle, in fact. You mean, you can tell? I'm Lord High Lord of the Fairies, and I, of course I can tell. So what is wrong with her? Well, whatever sickness she had might be gone, but something still got a hold over the poor dam. Hmm. What is it? Oh, um, uh, nothing. I'm gonna come see you again. Okay, Myrtle? Huh? Well, if you can't leave your room, I'll come to you instead. That way we can be friends. How does that sound? Oliver... You can't. Huh? My father won't allow it. You should leave. But Myrtle... If father sees you, he'll... Myrtle, come with me. Huh? You can go outside now. You're not sick anymore. I... I can't, Oliver. Just thinking about going out there gives me goosebumps. Myrtle. Oh. Go on out and play, Myrtle. But... Father... Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened to me. I wasn't there when you were sick, when you needed me, and I was fighting with your mother the whole time. I guess maybe the thing that was keeping you closed up in here, maybe it was me. Father. You were scared somewhere deep down that if you went away, even for a little while, your mother and I would lose the one thing keeping us together. That we, we wouldn't be a family anymore. I'm right, aren't I? That's why you... Why you were... Something deep inside you wouldn't let you leave the house. <laughs> Father, I... It's all right, sweetheart. Your mother and I, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Please, Myrtle. Please forgive me. 
Oh, I do. Daddy, I do. Are those tears, Bunting? Huh? No, they're not. So much for you being honest. Uh, Oliver? Hmm? I'm going to try. I'm going to go outside. Will you come with me? Rhoda. Happened. It was Shadar. He stole a piece of your heart. My heart? Is it you, Esther? Is it really you? Oh, my dear daughter. Father. Oh, forgive me, my child. <laughs> <laughs> you were robbed of your courage. But I... I have only myself to blame for the loss of my own. Oliver, it is you who taught me this. You have my thanks. You're welcome, Mr. Rashad. I will join you in the fight against Shudar. The day will soon come when the clarion rings out across the land once more. The clarion? Oh, it's an old story from way back, that is. Back when the world was at peace, like. The three kings of our world. Combine their skills and knowledge to create a flute that symbolized the great peace. The sound of this flute came to represent the unity of the nations of the world. How long is it now since the call of the clarion was heard? Not since the three kings got into a right old potch and fell out, I heard. Clarion will ring out again, and we will be the ones to play it. <laughs> Very well, daughter. Let us do our best. Let us help Oliver in his fight. Thank you so much, Mr. Rashad, sir. Oliver? Hmm? What is it, Esther? Why did you set out on this journey in the first place? Most people wouldn't dream of taking on someone like Shadar. Well, uh... It's my mom. I have to save her. Your mother? Uh, yeah. She... She died saving my life. But Mr. Drippy says there's a way to help her here in this world. So, you've come here to save your mother? Yeah, I guess. Wow. Huh? Doing all this for the sake of someone you love. I just think that's amazing. I wish I had as good a reason as you for making this journey. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean I wish that... It's okay. Shadar is incredibly powerful. He breaks the hearts of anyone who defies him. So no one dares to resist. And they say no one can defeat him. I know that. But... I have to. You have to try, right? I... yeah. It's so strange. You don't look powerful in the least. But somehow, 
I just know you can beat him. I wonder why. Thanks. Anyway, enough of that. It's late. Okay. Uh, we, uh... So this is the Supreme Sage, is it? Ahem. Your Honor, we have come to perform the trials. Not... me. Huh? huh? Idiots! Oh. I'm the Supreme Sage! Oh! That's just my stupid servant on both parts. This is the final trial. This looks a bit flippin' serious. <gasps> ah! Jeepers! Oliver! Look! Master. Here, take this. It's called the Heart Winning Heart. Wow, it's beautiful. I knew you would. Is that? Clinky is flipping sh sh Shadar! Shadar? Huh? <laughs> I have a little trial of my own for you.
Savor the flavor of the legendary Tikka Mahala. Wow, this smells great. It really does. Wow. Sorry, man. I just can't hold back. I'm going in. Yeah, me too. Here goes. Oh. Crikey, this spicy beef and veg is a marriage made in curry heaven. The Raj Mahal is a spicy oasis in a desert of disappointment. I never had it before, but this is the best curry I ever ate. <laughs> you are surprised and elated, I see. The Sheikh's special spices never fail. The delicate harmony of spice and tender beef intertwining with the subtle aroma that you... Hmm? Mm. <laughs> Mm. But they are not listening to a word I say. Mm. Oh, well. Eat friends and be merry. Raj's curry pot never runs dry. Yippee! Jeepers. <laughs> what do I want with this piece of rubbish? If you want it. It's yours! Oh. 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 I'm sure it will make you very happy. See ya! But it matters not. Your right to command me will be judged in battle. Huh? Well, where is it? Ah! Aha! Now to arms! Boy, I look the business in this little number. Huh? Oh, that's marvelous. <laughs> what do you think? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Yikes! Welcome to the Palace of Pampering, the cream of cat's cradle establishment. <gasps> oh my! Hey! I must apologize. Oh, oh, please, you must excuse me. Is it finished? Is it, it is really the paint finished? Is oh. dry, but it is completed at last. Oh, how I long to see it. Now, oh. please hang it over here. Isn't that the artist who? Yes, it is. I wonder how his picture turned out. At last, the grand unveiling. Oh, my beloved Khalifa. So the person he thought I looked like was. The Khalifa. That's fancy. It's not every day you get compared to royalty. Now feast your eyes upon the divine <gasps> beauty of oh her my. most admired oh, majesty. Oh, 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 huh? <laughs> but that's. Miss <laughs> <laughs> uh, Layla, <laughs> what is she eating? It's cheese. A whole lot of cheese. That's right, dearie, and it's not for sale. None of it. It's all for little old me. Quick, Ollie boy! She'll scoff the whole lot if you're not careful. 
Hurry up and grab some! Shopish! Okay. Please, Miss Layla, could you give me a piece of your cheese? Uh, 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 you know I'd do anything for you, dearie, but not please, that. Just oh, one no, piece. no, no, no. Just one no, tiny I said little piece. piece of mine. Hey, with all you your might. Uh, I'll uh, never let you have it. it. It's mine. Oh, mine. mine. Oh. Can I tell you? All oh, mine. Oh. Wow. Jeepers, that's the Khalifa? She probably ended up this way because of... Shadar, the stinking rotbag. Oh. Mm, what is that divine aroma? Abba! Here, your majesty. Bountiful Khalifa, these humble servants come right? bearing most delicious tribute. Whoa. Heavens, what a dear sweet child. Bring it to us now, there's a good boy. Please. Huh? You want me to take it to her? Quickly now, young man! Bring it to us! Hurry! Khalifa, if you continue to eat so prodigiously, I fear you may burst. A bull! We are hungry! Your request does not go unheard, Majesty, but I fear for your bovinity's well-being. That there is one utterly broken heart. What? But... She might not look broken-hearted, but depending on which bit of heart is missing, all manner of weird things can happen. See, what her Majesty's lacking right now is a drop of restraint. Restraint? That's right. And without it, she can't control the urge to stuff her right royal face. We won't be getting any favours out of her until we've sorted this out. You mark my words. Okay. So we need to find some restraint somewhere, huh? That's quick of you, Ollie boy. You have been paying attention after all. Let's go then, shall we? Please, you must do all you can to help Her Majesty. servants made your majesty's ailing heart whole again. I pray that our beloved Khalifa's most generous appetite has now abated. Well now, we still wish to enjoy the finer things in life, of course. But we have come to feel that a measure of gastronomic restraint may serve to set a good example for our dearest subjects. Your words are music to the ears of your people. Al Mamun can return to its former magnificence. Indeed it can. And we are simply itching to return to our ladies. 
Munificent Caliph, should these humble servants not be rewarded for their services to Al Mamun? Indeed they should. Boy, is there something you desire? Yes, Your Majesty, if it's not too much trouble. Well, what is it? We'd like to borrow your ship. Ship? Floaty wooty. Yes, of course. But of course you may borrow it. It is of little use to us. We will write a letter to the captain, ordering him to help you in any way he can. You will? Gee! Thank you, Your Majesty. Tidy! The boat is in the bag. But why in the world would a dear little thing like you have need of our floaty wealthy? Yeah. Thank you, Your Majesty. Well, we asked you a question, did we not? Well, uh. Go on, man. Okay. You need to find one of the great sages. The great sages? Hmm. Yes, we are aware of them. Abul, we know of them, do we not? Indeed, most learned Khalifa, but little has been heard of such men since the magical arts fell from favor. Why do you seek the great sages, travelers? We need their help. We need their power to defeat Shadar. <gasps> what? Is is something wrong? <laughs> we are not unamused. But we can see that you speak in earnest. Very well. We will tell you what we know. You will? I can't wait to hear it. There were once four great sages. We understand that one of them was defeated by Shaddaa. Mom. Ah. Oh. But we know of one who did not perish. You do? Well. He lives in the land of Hamlin. A detestable and warlike realm. Ah, but he is a handsome young thing. We even keep a picture of him. A ball? Crikey, sounds like she's got a bit of a crush on the poor lad. So this is one of the great sages, huh? That's a clue and a half, that is, Ollie boy. There's Lucky. <laughs> now, before you take your leave, we shall teach you some magic to aid you on your journey. Really? You're a wizard too, Your Majesty. <laughs> Well, not a fully-fledged wizard, perhaps, but we royals all know a few select spells. King Tom undoubtedly has a trick or two up his own kingly sleeves. He sure does. He taught me some real neat magic. <laughs> How quaint. We hope that you will find our own still neater. Here. Oh yeah, man. That's a cracker, that is. A real classic, like... It's your lucky day, Oliver. Yeah. May it serve you well. Do be careful out there now, won't you? 
Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Of some pretty boy. No need to get your knickers in a twist. It's important. It must be. Why would you steal it if it wasn't? Let's just say I can't have it doing the rounds. Tell you what, I'll buy it off you. That's fair, right? No, it's not for sale. We need it. Oh, yeah? Need it for what? Go on, this should be good. If I tell you, will you give it back? Uh, I might. It's a picture of one of the great sages. We need to find him. He's going to help us defeat Shadar. You what? <laughs> what did you just say? We're going to defeat Shadar, all of us, together. And we reckon this great sage might have some proper powerful magic in it. Ollie Boy is going to need it. Okay, we told you why we need it. Now give it back. <laughs> You lot think you can take down Shadar? <laughs> and you want to drag Pretty Boy here into it too? We sure do. And he'll help us. I just know he will. You must be even more gullible than you look. That or you're just plain stupid. You realise nobody stands up to Shadar and survives, don't you? Nobody. Huh? Nothing. Anyway, you don't stand a chance. I think we do. Eh? Hey? Oliver made my father, Rashad, believe again. And he saved me too. Rashad? What? The great sage? Rashad? The very same. And he's itching to take Shadar down now. You're joking. If Rashad is... We're not joking. Fine. I give up. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you lot have got me half convinced. All right, I'll take you. I'll show you where to find him. Hey. What? You know him? Yeah, a bit. Nito, thanks so much. Um. I'm Swain. Good to meet you, kiddo. I'm not a kid. I'm Oliver. All right, all right. Keep your hair on. Good to meet you, Oliver. I'm Esther. Trippy, Lord High Lord of the Fairies. So, I guess we should set sail, huh? This is so exciting, Oliver. Come on, Come on. Stop. 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 There you are. Sorry, sir, we got a little sidetracked. The preparations are complete. We sail immediately. Aye, aye, Captain. Way anchor. Anchor's away. Way anchor's away. Way anchor's away. Another voyage lies before us. My heart sings for the seas. Set sail! We're moving! <laughs> ah, it's proper exciting, this is. This is going to be fun. The seven seas await. Unfurl the sails! Pardon our march!
Shadar, are you straddling? Ha! <laughs> and he spoke so highly of himself. Fool, did he really think the Guardian of the Volcano could defeat the pure-hearted one? <laughs> I fear our executor may be a trifle toothless. <laughs> Perhaps he forgot his orders. Well, Shadar. What next? This time, I shall leave nothing to chance. This time, he will suffer by my own hand. <laughs> so, it has come to this at last. <laughs> and not before time. Your grace's silence, please. Very well, Shadar. I will grant you a new power. The power to summon the storm. You honor me, your radiance. This time, he will be destroyed. Do not fail me, Executor. There she blows! Autumnia! It won't be long till we meet the next great sage, huh? <laughs> I fear not, boy. Though you have come along. <laughs> Come then, show me your power. <laughs> Who the hell is that? It's the Dark Jin himself. <laughs> Shadar! Come, let us finish <laughs> so, this is the extent of your bow. Shadar! Where is she? Where is Alicia? Alicia? That is a name I have not heard in a long time. You may be fated to avert this world's doom, but first, you will have to save yourself. <laughs> Shadar! Is that big eye? It's looking this way. It is the eye of the storm. Eye of the storm? Summoned by sorcery. Curses, we will not escape these waters. This must be Shadar's doing. Oh, you rocket you! Hold on tightly. If the eye looks this way, we are doomed. The damn thing already is! Huh? I'm back in. Oliver! Oliver! It's her! This way! Come this way! Come on, Oliver! Uh, okay. Jeepers! Whoa! Oh. Oliver! Look both ways! Huh? Oh, sorry. I was somewhere <laughs> else. It's alright now. Huh? What's alright now? The big bad eye. It's gone now. The big bad eye? Of course! The Eye of the Storm! What am I doing here? But Shadar, my friends! Your friends? They're already there, Oliver! Huh? What do you mean? This way, Oliver. Let P show you the way. But, hey, wait a second! Hurry up, slow coach! You know, man. Ah! That voice. Is that...
told you I am not the foggiest who you're on about. Shut up about it, will you? Went round with you on your travel, she did. What happened to her, lovely girl? Name started with a P. Rhymed with something like, um, what? Oh, hippopotamus. Give up, will you? Honest to goodness. Ah, now I remember. Oh, yeah. Alicia, that was it. Blimey. Wow. Ah. Hurry up, man, they're on already. Look at that. They have a little stage and everything. Take that. Thank you and good night. Rubbish they are these days, man. How long is this going to go on for? This is embarrassing. It's like a dream, this is. Ain't it though? Ain't it though? Hey, speaking of dreams, I've always had a bit of a dream myself, you know. Oh, nice. Nice link, man. What it is, is, see, always want to run a little weapon shop, I have. A weapon shop, eh? Well, I don't know why you're bringing it up in the middle of a show, but sounds like an all right idea, that does. Ain't it though? Hey, do you fancy doing a quick practice with me? Huh? Practice? Yeah, man. I'll be the shopkeeper, see, and you, um. A zookeeper, right? And uh, well, all your animals have run away and your wife's left you. Oh, yeah. Make it easy for me, why don't you? I'm not a flipping professional actor, am I, you div? Come on, man, serious now. What do you want me to be? Uh, a lion tamer? Do you? How is that any flipping easy, yeah? Can I just be my flipping self? Oh, no one wants to see that, man. No, I know you again. You're trying to give me something hard to do so you look better in it, though. Nah, man. I just thought you'd like a nice juicy roll to get your teeth into, ain't it, though? Juicy roll, eh? Well, I may not be a professional, but my widow twank is pretty legendary. Right on. So, I'm the customer at your weapon shop, right? And you were the proprietor of said establishment. All right, give us a moment. Ba 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 ma 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 ka 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 ka. Get on with it, man. And knock knock out do cha ching. Clear off cha ching. What the heck was that, man? We slammed the door in my flipping face. We're not open yet, are we? Not open yet. But flipping hurry up, Bill. All right, we're open now. Oh, you are right. <laughs> knock knock cha ching. How do? How do? I uh just wanted to look at what weapons you got here, innit? Though. Sorry, man, that's next door but one. What? No, it's flipping not. It's my shop. Yeah, you a weapon shop. You can't go telling me what I sell in my own shop. But you said yourself you wanted it to be a flipping weapon shop. It is a flipping weapon shop. Give me strength, man. All right, all right. Sorry, man. I'll do it properly now, I promise. It's a weapon shop. Good. Selling weapons. Exactly. Righto. Knock, knock. Cha-ching, how do? What weapons you got here, then? What weapons you after, exactly? Well, I don't know, do I? Uh, what about, you know, one of them huge, great, choppy numbers? Yeah, a proper massive one of them, that's what I want. Uh, I'm afraid I cannot help you. Huh? You can't help me? You're the flipping shopkeeper, are you? I am sorry, sir. Huh? But that is just too big an axe. Flipping axe, that was rubbish. Made this one up in it, though. I suppose it take much. She's laughing like a flipping dream, tidy. Drippy man, we're all set. Right, do you lot all aboard? Aboard? Aboard board? Ah, here I go, boys. Let the mission to Ram begin. One of you give us a light, will you, man? Launch command received. Roger, Roger that. that. Hold on to your hats. We have ignition. Ow! Three, two, 
one plus one. <laughs> <laughs> So? All here in one piece? One pile more like. All right, no need to get in a tiz. It's the only way to get in here, innit? Oh, this takes me back. Look around you, my friends. This year's mummy's tummy where it all started. Right, oh. Come on, Littlies. It's time for the slidey ride of your tiny, tiny lives. <laughs> Well, don't just stand there, come on! Huh? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what the? What is that thing? Knickers! That rotter of a squid's got our kids! What the heck? The Littlies! No way! We already saved them once! Sorry, Ollie boy, but the future of the fairy race is at stake. Ah, do we have any choice? seeing them go to waste. You're a... a fairy? I am, and a proper tidy one at that. You talk funny. <laughs> That's how fairies talk, sweetie. But it's goofy. Oh, is it now? Well, I wish I'd known that before I made him for you. Nobody made him. He's my friend. Of course he is. I'm sorry. And I'm sure he'll always be your friend, no matter what. Come on now, don't be such a crybaby bunting. What would Mr. Drippy think? I'm not a crybaby bunting. Then you'd better dry those tears, hadn't you? Hmm? Come on, don't go get it all soppy on me. 
Wait, I thought I told you to... of this most ancient of magics was the sole privilege of the overseers of this world. Was it too much for you, perhaps? We granted you this privilege that you might finally dispose of the prophesied one. My apologies, your radiance. But, boy, he has a unique power. Or perhaps you simply lack the power to stop him. Perhaps... Vapors. Forgive me, your radiance. Majesty, the boy is clearly protected by the most potent of magics. Could it be... The sage, Alicia? I had wondered, your radiance. She who was foolish enough to stand against you. You think she troubles us even now, in the present? The power that protects him would suggest so. But he will need more than the Sage's aid to save the world. He cannot succeed without the weapon of the Ancients, the wand wrought by the Wizard King. Mornstar. Indeed. But we have no cause to fear its power. He will not find it. I have made that impossible. Making a wand disappear is the simplest of power tricks after all. You mean to say you have rid us of Mornstar? I have. The most enduring symbol of the Wizard King's rule now drifts free of time and space. Mornstar. Fashioned in the image of our own council's ones and bestowed upon humanity. Yet now, a mere hindrance. You are certain the boy cannot possess it? Not now, nor for all eternity. Mornstar. This is how the other half live, is it? Proper swanky, this is. Oi, hmm? it's this way. Come on, get a move on! Okay, are you sure about this?
next time. So ugly. Someone's coming. Must hurry. <gasps> Who are you? But you must be. You're the prince. C correct. I am Prince Marcusan, ruler of Hamlin. And who might you be? What do you think you're doing here? Huh? Oh, oh, no! Oh, my <gasps> God! You mustn't! God! No! Oh, get away! Do not oh. look at me! Get oh, out of here, I Jesus. say! You mustn't look at me! Go! Be gone! Wow. So the prince is the great sage. Got it in one. Just who in the world are you? Your Highness. You have nothing to fear. There's something we'd like to ask you. Something to ask me? Ah, oh, I see. Now you know my secret. You mean to blackmail me. That's not it. We came to... We wanted... We need the Great Sage's help. Huh? Great Sage? You mean me? Yes, of course we do. You were one of the Great Sages who protected this world, weren't you? I am sorry to disappoint you. It was my father who was the Great Sage. He passed away 15 years ago. But you inherited his powers, didn't you? The Great Sage's powers? <laughs> you should not believe everything you hear. I was never good enough. How could I be a Great Sage? Me, of all people. I have no gift for magic. Huh? But you... <sighs> I think you've been here long enough. No one asked you to come. Now leave me alone. Go! There's something iffy about that lad, I reckon. Do you think? No doubt. He's broken-hearted. But which piece of his heart is missing? What that boy's lost is his belief, like. Sure as eggs is eggs. His belief? That's right. Folks can tell him how blinking handsome he is till they're blue in the face, but will he believe him? Not a bit of it. Lost his belief he has in himself and everyone else. And he calls himself a prince. <laughs> That's a laugh. He's just a snivelling little wimp. Come on. Let's go find that piece of heart. Right. Ugh. He's more trouble than he's worth. I guess we'll be going then, Your Highness. I know that man. But from where? Just who in blazes do you think you are? And where in the world did you spring from? I will have answers. Huh? We could ask you the same thing. Mind your tongue, girl. You stand before an emperor. We'll take care of them, your majesty. Emperor? Stand down! I must discover how they came to appear here. And I shall not rest until I have done so. It is my sworn duty to know all that goes on in my domain. Come! Bring them to my chamber. We have much to discuss. Sir! Uh, huh? <sighs> Look! There! It's them! Come on! Now! Here goes! Uh, I just can't do it! Stop whining! Try again! Uh, huh? Be careful, Gaston! Uh, Oh! 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 We 
gotta help them. Yes. We can do this! The legendary wand must be in here. <gasps> Look at that! What a beauty! It may be older than my mom, but it's still got a bucket load of oomph. So this is the legendary wand. Morinstar. You have done well. Who are you? I am one who guides the fate of this world. And yes, it was I who summoned you here to this time. Huh? I had scant choice but to bring you here. For in your time, Bornstar has been... mislaid. For my boldness, you must accept my apologies. Know that countless trials lie ahead of you still. Steal yourselves, and fix your sights upon your goal. Until the day when you finally arrive, I shall be waiting. He's gone. Oh, the Emperor! Your Majesty! Uh, <gasps> Father! Uh... But why? What happened? Sh Shadar. Shadar? Yes. He was here. He came to... to... demand our unconditional surrender. Huh? But, but 
Let it be known. I defied him. I would not bow to that wretch. No, don't. Don't try to speak. Gascon. Huh? My son. My beloved son. Huh? You really thought I couldn't tell. You knew. Your appearance may have changed, but I know my own flesh and blood. What the future holds is a mystery to all men, but I know, I know that together you and Marcusan can, I believe in you, protect the Empire now and in the future. <coughs> Father! No! Father! Please! Father! I got to meet you again. And now this. I just wanted... I just wanted to make you proud. And now... This has to happen! Damn it! Swain. Together. Today, Today tomorrow, tomorrow, yesterday, yesterday send, send us safely, safely on, on our way! way. <gasps> to make of this. It seems the savior managed to acquire Mornstar after all. And somehow managed to travel back to the present. I would have thought that far beyond his meager power. Indeed. The power to bridge time can be used but once in a mortal's life, can it not? It would seem that he has benefited from yet more assistance. And that his benefactor possesses formidable powers. Powers on a par with our own. This supposed helper of his is no mere dabbler in the magical arts. Such powers recall those of that ancient king without whom our magic wands could not exist. Yes, I speak of my... But that would be a truly terrifying proposition, if one such as he were to... Fear not. Should the need arise, I shall take action myself. Your radiance? You mean to say... <laughs> I do. He cannot hope to defeat me. And I will tell you. That's it! 
I seem to recall you telling us the mighty Mornstar was no more, and yet somehow the boy managed to acquire it. Things don't seem to be going according to plan, do they, Shadar? What you say is true. I went to great lengths to destroy the wand, that the boy might never wield its power. But I could not have known he would travel through time to obtain it. That reminds me, Lord Gaius. You have used that spell. The one that binds past, present, and future. Surely not. Surely you did not meet with this savior in the house. <laughs> the very thought. What would I stand to gain from such a meeting? Perhaps the good lady forgets that it is a Shaddaa who has been charged with a boy's disposal. Your Excellencies, there is no cause for alarm. Everything is in hand, I assure you. I am the executor charged with bringing destruction to this world, and I fully intend to fulfill my duties. In any event, the wand he holds is incomplete. Without the power of the Three Stones, Mornstar is weak. Set against the might of our own wands, it is a mere toy. It seems you are quite the expert. They are lost, are they not? The stones from which Mornstar's magic powers sprang. Correct. The magic stones are lost, but the boy is searching for them now. Of that I have no doubt. And how are we to stop him finding them? When the Wizard King concealed them long ago, he entrusted their care to three fearsome guardians. I propose that we awaken the Keepers of the Stones from their slumber. Does this plan please you, Your Radiance? It does. Listen to me well, Shadar. The Keepers of the Stone shall henceforth answer to you. I am... honored. Use your new powers wisely. The Wizard King's most faithful servants are now yours to command. That sound!
This place has undergone some changes. Its halcyon days seem far behind it. Halcyon. All that is left of that kingdom and its people is the empty citadel you see before you. You have regrets. Destruction was the destiny those fools deserved. The choice you made was correct. Well, well. I never thought I would hear you say that. Now, Counselor, to what do I owe this pleasure? I came to inquire about your intentions. My intentions? Your intentions for this world. A world I believe you would protect. Am I not correct, Darjun? It is only a matter of time before the forbidden spell is used again. Does the thought not seem disagreeable? We all share the same views of this world's pitiful denizens. Their lives are no longer of the slightest value. I see. And you are quite sure of this. My deeds shall demonstrate that I mean what I say. Watch as the frail hopes of the people of this world are torn from them and turned to the blackest despair. So you will have to share your fate. Counselor, just what are your intentions? <laughs> this should be interesting. There, there, Nina. It will be over soon. There's a good girl, Carino. Yeah, yeah? May we begin the ceremony? Everything is in order, Queen Kulan. It's her! The Queen of the Heavens! We found Kulan! Uh... Ha! That's not good. What's he gonna do with the poor dog? Nina's in danger. We've gotta save her. Come on, everybody. Right. Carino, are you all right? Your Highness, get away from me! You disappoint ah. me, ah. Queen of the Heavens. Lord Shaddaa! Shaddaa! Where is he? Hear me, Queen of the Heavens. Huh? The power of huh? your nightmare huh? is as good as spent. Huh? Though you are a sage, it would seem you are all too human. Perhaps I was wrong to choose you as my representative. Lord Shaddaa, I beg you, give me one more! It is too late. 
Shorn of the power of your nightmare, what use have I for one such as you? <gasps> Queen Coolan! Huh? Queen Kula! Kula! Ha! Sorry to keep you waiting. Kubla! <laughs> but how? I see! The dregs of Xanadu arrive! How amusing! I look forward to seeing how much of a fight you put up this time. Thing sure seems powerful. Yes, and they work so well together. <sighs> wow.
We did it! You did it, Ollie boy! Now we can set Alicia free! Yes, and bring your mother back. Mom. This is it, Oliver. Your big moment. Right. Well, well, it is you, the famous Alicia. To what do I owe this pleasure? I see. So you have come to do battle. How very unwise. And you a great sage. <clears throat> what do you hope to achieve? You know that all magic is powerless in my presence. Foolish girl, I have just the place for you. A prison of eternal darkness. <laughs> Surely not. You know you will never return. Not to this time. I am well aware of it. I am ready. Damn you! Today, tomorrow, yesterday. <sighs> I'm from... Somewhere far away. I'm going to take care of you, sweetie. You'll be okay. I know you will. Be good now. For me. Tell me, Mom. Everything I went through... Was it all for nothing? <gasps> Who's there? P. How did you get in here? Easy peasy. I can go anywhere I like. I told you before, I'm always here, Oliver, looking after you. I... I couldn't save my mom. Everything I've been through, it was all for nothing. Hmm. No, it wasn't. Huh? You gave something special to all those people. Are you ready, Oliver? Close your eyes. No peeping. Okay. Hang on. Stop working so bleeding hard, will you? You're making me look bad. But I've never felt so full of beans. To think, back then I could barely muster the energy to get out of bed. <laughs> Things really have changed around here, haven't they? King Tom's got more enthusiasm than he knows what to do with these days. You're not wrong. It's like a whole new place. And we owe it all to that young lad. Those are the guards from Ding Dong Dao. They were the very first people you ever helped. One of them was broken hearted. I remember. There's more. <laughs> Listen. Well, Hickory docks up to his old tricks. One shall soon knock some sense into the scoundrel. Guess what, Miss Layla? My dad got up early to cook breakfast. And that's not all. Do take some more, won't you? There is enough in the palace larder for everyone! <laughs> we don't always require fart helpings, you know. Nicholas, who can tell that dear old mom what a fairy can't be doing without? Yes, you be there. What's that? Oh, dead wrong you are. It's laughter, ain't it? <laughs> the reason as fairies are so cute is to give them humans a proper laugh. Mother's magic may still be somewhat unpolished. He may still have some way to go to equal our prowess, but I believe in him. I believe in his gift. Keep up, Genghis! You gotta pick up the pace, boy! Hey! Don't tug the leash! Listen, men! From this day we fly once more, and we do not fight for any kingdom. We fight for all who stand against Shaddaa! There is no cause for fear. Know that I will always stand beside you. 
I will protect you from the wrath of Shaddai. So this piston goes here. And this one goes there. Ah, I feel like my brain's gonna explode. But I'm gonna crack this. You see if I don't. The one who heals the brokenhearted. The savior of this world of sadness. I'm talking about you, sweetie. You were the one who was there for them all. It was you who healed their hearts. I'm so proud of you. My Oliver. Everyone was. It was... Oh, you see, Oliver? You gave something special to all those people. It was me. It was me who... Thank you. Thank you, P. <laughs> You're welcome. I've got to go. There are people who need me. Yay! Oliver. That's your gift. That's your power. The power of your heart. <laughs> Is that really all you've got? <laughs> we can't do this. Not on our own. <laughs> it's time to bring this charade to an end. Yes, let's finish this. Huh? All of us. Warren Star! <laughs> Sorry, I got held up. Oliver! Huh. I thought you'd never get it. <laughs> you will pay Esther, for this! Sway! Let's pull together! <laughs> Let's show in the power of our hearts! Greetings, boy. You have grown strong. But are you strong enough to defeat me? You bet I am. Surely you are aware by now that if you destroy me, you will be no more. After all, you and I are one and the same. Huh? What? What did he say? <sighs> the souls of those in this world are connected to those in yours, boy. Live in this world, and you live in that world, too. But should you die in this world, so, too, shall you perish in the other. The two worlds are inextricably bound together, just as we are, my soulmate. Is he serious? Uh, no, that can't be true. But that is not all. 
Because I have gained eternal life, you have been reborn many times over. You should be grateful to me. But I'm... I see. It all becomes clear. You have no memory of any of this. That wretched sage chose to raise you as a normal child. Well, know this. It was I who gave you life. The fathomless darkness within me required a suitable counterweight. It was for this that you were created. Oh, pure-hearted one. Now, speak true. Do you still wish to destroy me? What are you going to do, Oliver? Well, he can't fight him. That's for sure. Maybe what Shadara says is true. But things just can't go on like this. I've got to put an end to it. And I'm going to need your help. I want you right there, beside me. You what? But Oliver! You mean... I will say it once again. If you destroy me, it will be the end of you. Do you truly mean to fight? I don't care anymore. Ha 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 ha! In that case, let me welcome you to my world. my soul. Impressive. But when despair consumes the heart, it gives birth to a power still more terrible. It is despair that will defeat you. You and all else. I am the executor, charged with bringing destruction to this world. Behold the power of the Dark Jinn.
<laughs> Are you still at it? Don't overdo it, will you, Lucian? I'm not stopping till I've mastered Cloudburst. I've still got a long way to go, you know. I have to do my bit, protect my homeland, defend the people of Bellicosia. The order has been given. We are to invade Rubicon on the Halcyon border. We march on the morrow. The town harbors a sage who must be eliminated. Spare no one, women and children included. An invasion? Women and children? Why? Why must we go that far? This is wrong. This is not why I studied magic. This is all wrong. <laughs> you must get away from here. Gods, please let me save someone. I'm scared. Here, take this. It will protect you, I promise. Now you must flee from here. I'll, I'll try. You. Gaze upon the scene before you. You know what it signifies, I trust. But why? Why do this? My village! Everyone's homes! Why? This is your punishment. You made no attempt to engage the enemy, disobeying direct orders. Worse, you let the sage's daughter escape. I need hardly add that she would have proven a most useful pawn in this war. The sage's daughter? You mean, you mean that girl was... Oh, don't you worry, we'll get her soon. <laughs> Damn you! What I did... Was it wrong? Was it my fault? Was it my fault they were killed? Idiot! You couldn't even save one such life. You know full well that girl is dead already. What the hell is the point? Why did I even try? There's no good in this world. Only despair. Embrace your despair. For when despair devours the heart, it gives birth to the power of hatred. It is despair that will overwhelm this world. You are the executor, charged with bringing destruction to this world. I dub you the Dark Jinn. Can he really? Can he really be gone? No, 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 no. Huh? Oliver! Oliver! You're all in one piece, man! I'm not dreaming this, am I? But what about Shadar? He could still be here. No, he's not. Huh? Shadar, he's gone. What? But... He wanted to protect the world. He could have fooled me. It's true. I saw into Shadar's heart. I saw it all. Shadar, no. I mean, Lucian. The truth is... Oliver. Mom! 
I know you'll be fine now. You don't need me to look after you anymore. Oliver? You did so well, sweetie. This is a pendant someone gave me a long time ago. I know. I want you to have it. Don't cry now, Oliver. It's going to be all right. I'm so proud of you, my beautiful son. Goodbye. Had a nice nap. You're all here. Where else would we be? You just collapsed all of a sudden. We were worried. S sorry. Get a load of that. <gasps> it's so beautiful. It's like everything's awoken from a long sleep. Ah, isn't it? So our tale's at an end. Mom, you gave me the greatest gift of all. My life. Right, you lot. What's next? Let's go see what's going on in the world. Yeah, things should be back to normal now, eh? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Tidy. <laughs> oh, that was like a oh, oh, oh. And that was the story of the Dark Jinn. In the beginning, Shadaro wanted to protect the world. And in the end, his dream came true. It's over, Lucian. That's right. Isn't it, Mom? Hermana, look! Look at the big house! It's a castle, Amanito! And look! What is that? Look how the water pours from it! Wait for me! <laughs> well, I've done my preparations for the display. Suppose you've been sat on your backside, Roman. Oh, you got some cheek. Don't you worry, I've got everything under control. But you've been sitting down all morning, and you reckon you've set up all your fireworks? That's right. Now, let's show this town what we've got, Catherine. Time to start this party with a bang! <laughs> Me out, Estee. The celebrations are about to commence. Ah, yes, but one cannot cut corners when it comes to grooming, honestly. It will only take one moment. But there's no time, me out, Estee. A moment, one said. One simply must clean one's ears. Yeah, where huh? is it? Where did one's royal ear clean? Ear cleaner? Time? But you're me out, Estee. <laughs> King Hickory, hurry up! You little pipsqueak! I'm still black and blue after battling you know who! Don't worry! King Tom's sure to call a ceasefire today! Yeah! Come and get it, you mangy Doesn't that nice. brat know I'm royalty? <laughs> Dad! Tiny is a proper party! Ho oh, ho! Just like home! This is what Shadar wanted, isn't it? To see the world at peace. Well, so Oliver tells us. I bet he's up there watching now. Him, and you and that. Yeah. I just know they are. Now, I wonder if the Kauli from Markasan have arrived yet. Well, they're busy people. There's still plenty of time. Which means we've got time to enjoy ourselves, am I right, Dolly Boy? Yeah. So, farewell. Yes. Thanks for everything, Your Majesty. <laughs> so it's the end of our double act, is it? You made one heck of a sidekick, Dolly Boy. When you get home, you'll look out for Myrtle, won't you? Hey, come back and visit you here. 
We'll go somewhere dangerous, for old time's sake. You got it. Thank you, everybody. Be good, Oliver. Uh, but not too good. See you next time our world's in a potch. Take care, all of you. Thank you. Farewell, Oliver. An end to huh? pain. Huh? What's that? What did you do, Oliver? Nothing, I promise. Pitiful fools. My gift of mana will cleanse your tainted souls. This stuff. What? What is it? Snow. But it isn't cold. <gasps> what is this? What the heck? <laughs> Majesty. You must come with me! Oh, not away! Mana. The forbidden spell. The death knell for this fallen world. Indeed. It rings out again, as once it did for Nazca. Each time this world ends, one cannot help but recall the name of that forsaken land. The name I recall is Shadar, the one whom we termed Executor. Bringing an end to this world was his duty. A task to which he was palpably unequal, and I will not even speak of his duplicity. To think he shared a soul with the Savior, and that he hid this fact from us. It seems that mankind has disappointed your radiance yet again. At the last, the Dark Jinn attempted to save this world. To protect the very creatures that first plunged him into despair. I will not be defied. All who defy our will shall perish. The mortal who shared a soul with Shaddaa still draws breath. Should he too choose to defy our will, his reward shall be death, swift and certain. I thought we would be safe here. This place should be beyond the reach of the manor. Can these poor people really be the ship's crew? They've been turned into monsters. <sighs> Time for some target practice. You can't. We can't fight these people. What? You'd rather let them tear us to pieces, would you? Leave it to Pete. <gasps> hey! Pete, look out! Please get better. Thank you, bye. Me. Did you see that? Oh. 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 She cured them just like that. Flippy, Nora. A dot of a thing like her letting rip with a blooming great spell like that. That's amazing. So this is Oliver's imaginary friend, eh? Young, what's her name? P, was it? You mean P? That's me! I'm P! But why is it that we can see her all of a sudden? Ah, well, that's easy. Allow Professor Drippy to explain. We can see her because she's in our world, innit? And Ollie Boy could always see her because she's from his world, obviously. Um, wait a minute. Wouldn't that mean that we should have been able to see her when we went to Motorville? Oh, 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 I have to explain every little thing now, do I? I may be a fount of wisdom, but I got my limits, right? Quite. What we do know is that this girl destroyed the crystal. Clearly, she possesses the power to purify mana. The spell she used, I have never seen its like. It was... miraculous. Miraculous? 
No, it was sanctify. Sang-i-fi. Sanctify? So P could return those poor people in Ding Dong Dell to their old selves. Indeed she could. In this child, you have the solution to this rather unfortunate problem you face. Huh? It's you. You were the one who sent us back to the past. Yes. You may call me Gallus. I am a member of the council that determines the fate of this world. The Zodiacs. The Zodiacs? The fate of the world? Oh yeah. And what would a busy fellow like you want with the likes of us? I came to thank you. Your power awoke the child. The child? Oh, you mean P? I do. Through her, you now possess the power required to purify this world. Sanctify. Sanctify? You mean P's magic can save the whole world? Indeed it can. When you combine your power with hers... It'll do! Ah, young P. At long last, the one you have awaited has come. Yep. <laughs> now we're friends. The time is close at hand for both you, young P, and for you, Oliver. I wish you well. Goodbye, Doodle Doom. Look, it's a crystal. Yeah, we have to smash it. Looks like he's got other ideas. Poor King Tom. We have to give him a right royal battery. right there. Okay, here goes. Sanctify! The manor was fed by the energy that flowed from the black crystals. They formed the cornerstones of the forbidden spell. I am sure they did, but now they have been destroyed. Surely a mere human could not have carried out such a deed. Could he really be the one? Your radiance, what do you intend to do about this? Fear not, the manor is but a foretaste of what is yet to come. This trifling victory only delays the inevitable. Indeed. The more mankind struggles, the more surely its fate is sealed. Yes, they cling to a frail, fleeting hope. But it is soon to be torn from them. To see mere mortals raise arms against your radiance. <laughs> An amusing spectacle. <laughs> we look forward to it. Now, Gallus. Are we to understand that you have had contact with the boy? I have. I wished 
to gauge his power. Gauge his power? And you expect us to believe this? Can it be? First Shadar, and now you. You doubt the word of a fellow counselor? <sighs> what nonsense! Enough! Uh, you, your, your radiance? Enough, I say! Yes, radiance. May I, your radiance? The Wizard King, your father, he slipped away most peacefully. But he's there. Why are you crying? No, I'm not crying. <laughs> your Highness, it is time for you to take your father's place. Um... You mean I'll be Queen P? Yes, that is what is expected. Your radiance. Really? I wonder if I'll be a good queen. And so, the preparations for the succession are all in place. All matters of state have been entrusted to the Council of Twelve. That's right. You don't have to worry your pretty little head about a thing. <laughs> Look at her. Princess P hasn't the faintest idea what's going on. She is no longer a mere princess. Ah, you are quite right. Please accept my humblest apologies, Queen P. You look simply radiant, Princess P. But we had better start calling you by your true name, Queen Cassiopeia. Father called me P. You're a big girl now, and after today's ceremony, you'll be known by your big grown-up name. But I... Your subjects are all toasting your health, Queen Cassiopeia. They're sure that you'll take after the Wizard King and lead our kingdom to a glorious future. But... I'm P. I don't want to be a queen. Benek, that big beast looks cow familiar. Oh no! The cow leafer too? Apus, at least I have you to talk to. What the Council are doing? Can it be right? Earlier on, I overheard the Captain of the Guards. He said the Kingdom was in a parlous state. He spoke of people too poor to buy bread and of the starving dying in the streets. Yet, the Council assure me all is well. Just who is telling the truth? Tell me, Apis. 
This is most troubling. The Queen persists in her wish to involve herself in the affairs of state. Should this continue, she may realize that it is we who now rule the kingdom and alert the populace. <laughs> Surely it would do little harm to allow her to sit on the council, provided that we keep the more sensitive matters from Her Majesty's hearing. Yes, and ensure that she is made publicly responsible for all of the Council's decisions. Ha! A most splendid idea! We shall keep our kingdom while she takes all the blame! <laughs> Father, I know you will be proud of me. Today, the Council gave me their approval. I am to be involved in the affairs of state. Now I can work for the best interests of my subjects. I have taken a long, hard look at myself, and I have decided to put my subjects first and do all I can to rid the world of war and famine. Father, I have learned of the existence of an ancient spell with the power to end all suffering. I shall do you proud. I vow that I will master that spell and save my subjects and kingdom from despair. Soon, Father. Soon I shall bring the light of hope into the lives of my people. So we're back here again. Stop your whinging, man. I mean, it could be worse. Huh? Oh! Nickers! That tank! That's the very latest weapon in Hamlin's arsenal. You're telling me machines are turning into monsters now? I cannot say. Whoa! Ah, ah. Just a machine! Let's show it what for! Time for your magic. Right. Sanctify. How? How could this happen? Every man, woman, and child in my kingdom. How? Why did this happen? Mana was meant to help them. Not... not... this. Tell me why! My name is Cassiopeia. I am Queen of Nazcar. When I was a child, I was known as P. I lived together with my father, and did not want for anything. Then, when my beloved father passed away, I ascended the throne, little knowing what horrors awaited me. Ignorant of the affairs of state, 
I allowed the Council of Twelve to control everything. But the Council paid not the slightest heed to the well-being of my subjects. I had always thought of Nazcar as a peaceful realm, but now I saw that it was blighted by greed and torn apart by conflict. The scales had fallen from my eyes. I felt the desperation of those ground down by poverty. I felt the pain of those fighting for survival. And I saw how I had lived a gilded life of luxury. A life they could never hope to enjoy. I decided that I must change. I would work for the good of others and do all I could to eliminate conflict. That is how I arrived at my decision. That is what drew me to the spell that would save the world. Mana. When I came to use that spell, not a doubt clouded my mind. I was certain that the mana would purify the hearts of my people. But then... My dream of peace turned into a nightmare. All those whom the mana touched became beasts and turned upon each other. For years, the nightmare went on. The years stretched to decades. And still it continued. Then one day, I realized there was no one left. The council was gone. The guards were gone. My ladies in waiting, too. They were all gone. The mana I had unleashed had claimed the lives of every one of them. I am completely and utterly alone. But death is a privilege I shall never know. And who can say what this endless solitude may make of me? That is why I have decided to fill these flowers with my memories. If you have found this flower, I pray that you will find your way to me. That is my only wish. Until then, I shall be waiting, always waiting, alone in Nazcar. My solitude stretched before me, with no end in sight. All I had for company were my memories, the pieces of an ever more distant past. I tried to hold on to the happy times, hoping to keep my loneliness at bay. For how many years this continued, I cannot say. And then, one day, can it be true? Are you me? But why? Just who do you think you are? What? What do you want with me? I see. You came to accuse me. To blame me for the loss of all those lives. Well then, I shall banish you from my sight! <laughs> That's right! Banish her! Pour forth your manner and be done with them all! Yes, that shall be my gift. The gift of the White Witch! We have awaited you, your radiance. Counselors! My beautiful manner can end the world in an instant. <laughs> we need only choose when that instant shall be. We may shape the fate of the world as we will and start afresh whenever we please. That is the power of our manner. Yes, your radiance. 
I hereby call the council to order. What was that? What did we just see? The White Witch. Cassiopeia. Who'd have thought she'd turn out like that? So much for all those good intentions. But how could... She was there, with Cassiopeia. P was there. Cassiopeia is on her own. And she's very, very sad. Please help her. Help Cassiopeia. Silence! <gasps> strive to save this fallen world when my radiant mana would start it anew. Mana? You mean... Yes, it is I, the White Witch, arbiter of the fate of the world. It is my decision and my right to bring this world to an end. The judgment has been passed. It shall not be overturned. The White Witch? The time has come! Make ready to assault the lair of the White Witch! Yeah! Oliver! Don't worry, P. It'll work. You'll see. Now, men! Grind the cannons! Fire at will! Anyone else think this is a bit too easy? It is strange. Why is no one going to back? I'm going! Hey! Wait! I'm coming too! And so am I! What? Go! Oh, wait for me! Hold on! Don't leave the hero behind! Is everybody ready? You're all planning to fly through that hail of cannon fire, huh? Would you rather stay here? No, of course not! Wait! Do you have room for another? because I mean to see this to the very end. Prince Marcus said? Okay, I hop on board. Splendid. We're ready, Tangri. All that firepower, not a scratch on it. Just as I thought. It's invulnerable. No matter. The primary purpose of that attack was to unite our forces behind a common cause. Oh, really? Yes, I thought that might be the case. <laughs> you big liar. You were scared out of your wits. Scared? Me? <laughs> You're clearly hysterical. You guys. She's waiting for us. The White Witch. Cassiopeia. Come, honor the Savior. Let me put your powers to the test.
time. Jeevers. You are late, Oliver. So you're... Behold the overseers of the world's fate. The Zodiacs. So you shared a soul with the Dark Jinn. Know then that this world made him what he was. His despair was born of its rank imperfection. I gave him the chance to bring this world to an end. He failed. But I shall not. And yet you would have us believe that this is a world worth saving. I should very much like to hear you argue that case. Come. Tell us what the world is worth. Come, boy. Let us hear what you have to say. Hmm. Oliver! It's okay, Pete. It's all gonna be okay. This world is full of people doing their best to live their lives. It's their world, and I won't let you destroy it. Those are bold words for a brat like you to utter. <laughs> this is the child the prophecies speak of. We are the Council of the Our decision is to determine the fate of the world. You're wrong. You're alone, Cassiopeia. You always have been. <gasps> They're gone. Are you alright? Huh? What just happened? It was something Gala said. He said she was locked inside her own world. You mean to say that entire council was a figment of her imagination? Her magic was so strong, it turned her thoughts into reality. Wait, hold on a second. Then what made the White Witch disappear? Was she an illusion too? No, the White Witch is real. And she's in there. Ah, how dare you! This is her radiance's inner sanctum. Did you not hear me? Be gone from here! Apis. That is enough. Ah. As you have no doubt deduced, Apis was but another phantom created by my memory. Yes, another illusion. How long has it been, P? <gasps> How long since? Cassiopeia! Why? Why do you have to destroy the world? Because it is imperfect. Imperfect like the human heart. Long ago, my own was consumed by the blackest despair. But then I discovered something on the furthest shores of solitude. I found true strength. Strength enough to remake the world. But you didn't have to flipping go and use it, did you? He's right. You're not the only person in the world. The world might not be exactly how you want it, but that's no reason to just get rid of everyone. You can't do that. It's wrong. It's wrong! It's wrong! Joanna! Ah! The world is mine to remake as I see fit, and none shall defy my will. Weak-hearted humans, I condemn you to suffer forever!
prophecy foretold. Very well. Huh? <gasps> Where's this then? Oliver, look. Oh no. I've got a bad feeling about this. She's changing. Cassiopeia, you can't destroy the world. I won't let you. start over. It may not be perfect, but nothing is. So you make the best of what you've got. When things go <laughs> wrong, you have to try and make them right. And you have to keep on trying, no matter how hard it gets. That's what life is all about. Life? Even when you're all alone, you can't give up. Sooner or later, someone's sure to come along. I met P, didn't I? And she, well, she's a part of you. Mm-hmm. And I met Oliver. Oliver, you're my friend. No, oh, P. Life's never perfect. It's always changing. Meetings, farewells, happy times, sad times. You take things as they come. And you keep on going. That's just how it is. <laughs> You're so kind, Oliver. But Oliver, don't be angry with Cassiopeia. She was so sad. She didn't know what to do. That's why I was born. But now you've made her better, and that means I don't have to look after her anymore. Huh? Oliver, I have to go now. Bye-bye. Uh. Thank you for everything, Oliver. This must be... The real Cassiopeia. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I am Queen Cassiopeia. As I was long ago. I will be forever in your debt. You have restored me to my true self. I heard your words. And now I can begin to live again. Thank you, Oliver. What's going on? We are the Zodiacs, the council that decides the fate of the world. The Zodiacs? But didn't you just imagine them? No, this, this has nothing to do with me. Can they, can they have become real? That is correct. We have seen the rays of your magic. Manichi, get back in her head, you rotters! Is this a declaration of independence? This is all my fault. Run from here. No way. We're staying right here. You don't have to do this alone. We can defeat the Zodiacs together.
to live again, stirring in my heart. You have given me hope, the strength to overcome sadness. It's time for a fresh start, Your Majesty. She's not wrong. Give the world a try and keep your chin up, all right? Yes, and let the past stay in the past. Too right. That's what her old man would have wanted, didn't it? Indeed. But first, I must make amends to the people of this world for all that I have done. Of course, but take things one step at a time. I will. And my first step shall be flowers. Flowers? Yes, I shall fill this palace with their beauty. I want to see smiling faces. I want to make everyone happy just as they once were. This world shall bloom. You can do it, Your Majesty. I just know you can. And I want you to see it. To see the world you saved.
My, you are an early bird. Morning, Miss Layla. It's such a help having you around, dear. <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> so you take this piston and you connect it here. All right. I'm gonna crack it this time. You see if I don't. <sighs> Mom, I'm gonna get on with my life. And I know you'll always be watching over me.